Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm back with an OU singles battle against LeBron Dwayne 63. Pretty sure we met the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder, but I don't actually remember at this point. Uh, he's got quite an interesting team there. It looks like it's a rain team without a Drizzle Toad. Uh, I mean, so he's got Ferrothorn who loves the rain. He's got Azumarill who loves the rain. Um, another Pokemon who's weak against fire, uh, and he's got Ludicolo. So I'm imagining it's probably a Swift Swim Ludicolo. Uh, which might mean that someone else on his team has Rain Dance because Drizzle and Swift still in his band. Um, maybe it's an anti-Rain team. I guess I'm about to find out. Anyway, my opponent goes ahead and leads off with Cloyster. I lead off with my Jufro. Uh, and I'm thinking, well, this guy, if it gets off a Shell Smash, could wreck my entire team. So let's just go ahead and get off a Stun Spore. I was expecting him to Shell Smash first turn or to switch out, really. Uh, and instead he stays in and goes for the Icicle Spear just to get the clean KO. Probably a good idea. I guess he could have uh, he could have expected the taunt, uh, and if I taunted, then he wouldn't have been able to shell smash, and it would have been a waste of turn. So uh, it was a good move to go for high school spear. He does take out my Jufro, and I am actually okay with that because it means he can't shell smash. And then I look at his team and remember, oh crap, he has Swampert, and that's really my only Pokemon that can deal well with Swampert. Oh well. Ah, uh, so anyway, I send out Jirachi, go for the Calm Mind, and I'm thinking, I really should be able to wall this guy, no matter what he has. Uh, so he goes for the Surf. So it's a mixed, uh, Cloister. I, maybe this is the standard Cloister set, I'll look it up, but, uh, I mean, I don't really see Cloister very often, and I don't really expect much from Cloister. I understand that lots of people love it because of its Shell Smash ability and the fact that it has that Icicle Spear with Skill Link. So I go ahead and get off a plus one T-Bolt. Uh, he obviously has a sash. I mean, that's just well just without saying. I'm actually really surprised he didn't try to go for the shell smash before. Here he goes for the shell smash. Well, of course he wouldn't go for the shell smash. Uh, or it's rather a bad idea to go for the shell smash because he's paralyzed. And it doesn't look like he has a cleric on his team. So really, all that's going to do is make him easier to kill. Maybe he thought I was going to keep on going for the calm mines there. Uh, but and I don't. So I'm just going to be able to take him out easily on the next turn. Or if he swaps out. I could set up my rocks later on, but I'm just going to go ahead and take him out, and he's just going to go ahead and leave him in. So, Cloister is a dead Cloister, and my Jirachi is going to be back up to almost full HP, possibly actually full HP. Yes, back up to 404. Great, Jirachi. So now out's going to come Swampert. An Earthquake is extremely obvious, uh, but I go ahead and stay in and go for the Psy Shock just to see how much it's going to do. I don't think an Earthquake can take me out, and maybe he's got Earth Power instead. Uh, maybe this is a special Swampert, so this lets me scout him out. And here comes the Earthquake, and it does more than half, so I'm not going to be wanting to take multiple hits. I, found out, I find out that he's a Life Orb set, so good thing to note. He's not banded, he doesn't have leftovers, he's more offensively driven, it looks like. Anyway, expecting him to go for another Earthquake, I go out into my Rotom Heat form, really risky in case he decided to switch it up and go for Waterfall, but it pays off for me. I am Spexed, and this cracks people up when I do this. I, I use Dark Pulse, I have Dark Pulse on this set. And people are like, LOL, Dark Pulse, why the hell would you use Dark Pulse? But it has the chance of flinch, I actually get the flinch, so a bit of hacks, but I am not even sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, a really interesting move. Really, I'd probably be better off with a Hidden Power Grass, I want to say, but, you know, I, Dark Pulse has actually served me fairly well. It gets pretty good neutral coverage, and that chance of flinch makes it kind of deadly. Uh, so here I yeah, get the flinch again, so I am haxing this guy all up and down this joint. Anyway, I decide I'm not going to push my luck too much. I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Puff, my Magic Dragonite. Uh, not sure what I was expecting from him, probably some kind of water type move. Anyway, he goes through the Rain Dance, so that means he's going to outspeed everyone on my team for the next five turns, and I'm like, Whoop. So I, I didn't want to take an Ice Beam. Uh, I mean, it's still 2x effective, even with multi-scale. I'm just not going to want to take that. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be doing a bunch of switching and basically try to stall out the rain. And once the rain is down, then I should be able to kill this thing quite easily. Uh, but so anyway, now I'm expecting a grass-type move, so I go out into Jirachi, and indeed my opponent goes for the energy ball. So uh, I'm stalling him as best I can, but... You know, okay, so here, like, oh, okay, what do I think he's gonna do? Probably a water type move, but I really don't want to send out uh, Dragonite just in case he doesn't. Anyway, he goes for the Hydro Pump, 
doesn't miss, he is going to take out my Jirachi in the rain, that's no question. So Jirachi is going to go down, uh, but it does mean I'm going to get a free switch into someone else. Now that, that someone else is actually going to be Peanut, my uh, Don fan, and you might think that's the weirdest move I've ever seen. Uh, but here's the thing, I have Sturdy. So he goes for the Hydro Pump, I know I can survive, and I'm just going to try to get off the most amount of damage I possibly can by going for Earthquake. So I'm down to 1 HP, uh, hang on with Sturdy, thank god he didn't get entry hazards up. I go for the Earthquake, and I'm like, I just hope this can K- well I don't think it's going to KO, it is resisted after all, but it does a decent chunk of damage, enough damage that I am hoping and praying that an Ice Shard will take him out on the next turn. Uh, so indeed, I go for the Ice Shard, and I'm like, come on, KO, 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 and does! So Ludicolo is down, and the rain, I think, is still up. So I'm thinking he must have had, since considering I didn't see leftovers and I didn't see life orb, and he was so often not the moves, uh, I'm thinking he's probably uh, Damp Rock. Anyway, I decide I'm going to save Peanut for later just in case I need some spinning, uh, and all you imagine is I'm a Stealth Rock, because that low health is really going to be iffy. Uh, he can send, uh, his Azumarill goes for the Aqua Jet. Smart move. HCHB, uh, takes that not that well, and so here I go for the Stone Edge, it connects, and I'm thinking, I don't know whether I can take out this Azumarill, but it should at least do a decent chunk of damage. I get a crit, and I'm sure that crit mattered, and he basically said, uh, I, this must have been through Smogon because he was he was talking to me about it, and saying, you know, his, uh, his Azumarill really could have wrecked my team, and I don't doubt it. I really don't doubt it. Anyway, I'm going to let... Uh, I, he goes ahead and uses Dragon Pulse on his Lucario. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and sack HCHB. At this point, no, I don't think I can get off a Shell Smash and just need to sacrifice something. So, I see that he's le uh, Life Orb, to be expected. He's only got two Pokemon left. They are both weak to Fire, and in fact, his, uh, his final Pokemon is 4x weak to Fire, so I go for the Overheat. Uh, the, the rain must have stopped and I just didn't pay attention. So I'm going to go ahead and get the KO against Lucario. He didn't try to go for the extreme speed. Well, I guess he's a, he's a special set. Um, also surprising that I outsped. Stop that question mark. Uh, so now he's down to Ferrothorn, and this is going to be the end of the battle, because even though I'm at minus two, Overheat is 4x effective, and I am spec, so this is going to be a, this is going to be a good game. So, um... Yeah, great game, LeBron, LeBron Dwayne 63. Hope you folks in the audience enjoyed it. It's nice to do an OU battle every so often. I know I've called it a, such a soulless tier, but this team is surprisingly well, although maybe it's just I get lucky with my opponents with this team. So either way, hope you enjoy this, folks. So long.